everyone. My name is Jeff Day. I'm a software engineer at Circle. Uh, today I'm going to be giving a demo on Circle's cross-chain transfer protocol, also known as CCTP, uh, a permissionless on-chain utility that will allow users to burn native USDC on one chain and mint the same amount on another chain. So at a high level, this presentation will cover the following. Why we built CCTP, a high-level overview, an integration walkthrough, and a short demo. So first, why we built CCTP. Um, we had a few key design pillars around which we wanted to build CCTP. First, a focus on native USDC. Uh, our primary goal was to allow individuals to seamlessly uh, move native USDC between blockchains. We really want to move away from any type of wrapped asset because they create huge honeypots as we've seen over the past year, uh, or so, so the escrow contracts can be drained and cause a huge loss of funds. Second, unify liquidity. Um, we have a lot of confusion and customer errors caused on blockchains where there are two versions of USDC, uh, both the native USDC and wrapped USDC. Many users are not sure the difference between them uh, or in which one to use, and this has caused uh, poor UX and lots of customer mistakes. Uh, long term, we want to have native USDC everywhere and eliminate the usage of wrapped USDC completely. Third are fast transfers. Uh, we looked around at some of the existing bridges, and it's really not a great UX when you need to wait many hours or maybe even up to a week uh, to move your money between chains. It's kind of similar to a bank, and that's all what we want to move away from. Uh, we believe moving money between blockchains should not take more than a minute or two. Next, interoperable. Uh, today, native USDC is on eight blockchains. Uh, and we are planning to add USDC to many more chains in the future. All of these chains are a little different. Uh, with these differences in mind, our goal was to have a, si a simple validation strategy that uh, that can work on any smart contract blockchain, uh, whether it's an EVM chain or not. Next, many-to-many. Many many. We wanted to design the protocol in a way where money can move directly between any two blockchains, which both have native USDC. Uh, we built it in a way where customers will be able to move money from Solana onto Arbitrum directly, uh, without needing to go through ETH first, which we think is pretty cool. Last but not least, extensible. We wanted to allow the community and developers to really build and take this and run with it. Uh, so we purposefully keep the core protocol lightweight and composable in order to allow all developers to build some awesome experiences on top of it. So now that we talked about what we wanted to build, let's talk about how we built it. A high-level overview. Um, in practice, let's consider passing a message from Ethereum to Avalanche. Uh, at a very high level, an event would first happen on Ethereum, which emits some message. Next, our attestation service will observe the event happening. Uh, and sign a message saying that it has seen event A on ETH. Anyone can call this off-chain API and say, hey, Circle, I want an attestation for event A. Uh, our API will return the event data along with the attestation. The event data and the attestation can then be passed into a contract on AVAX. Um, all the contract needs to do is verify the author of the signature, uh, and then it can trust that the message is valid and take whatever step it, steps it wants to. So let's walk through the steps for a USDC cross-chain transfer. First, uh, approve the token messenger contract to transfer USDC. Second, you would execute the deposit for burn function, which deposits the user's USDC to the token messenger contract, burns the USDC, and calls the message transmitter to pass the message and emit an event. Third, uh, fetch the attestation for Circle's API. The message can be fetched using the message hash from the message sent event from step two. Finally, call the receive message function on the message transmitter contract on the destination chain to receive USDC at the original specified address. So this is kind of a higher level uh, you know, image of how all the smart contracts interact, uh, basically a diagram that explains what I just walked through. So next we're going to go through uh, an integration walkthrough and demo. This is a demo application that we've built to show the capabilities of CCTP. At the landing page, you can see I've already connected my MetaMask wallet that holds um, some AVAX and some USDC uh, on Avalanche. So first I'm going to go here and specify that the source chain that I want to uh, burn USDC on is Avalanche. The destination chain that I'm going to want to mint on is Ethereum. Um, I'm going to press this button to copy my wallet address here so that my USDC ends up in the same wallet on, a, on Ethereum. Let's say we want to transfer one USDC, so we would hit the next button. Now this message will pop up asking uh, to approve the transfer. Um, so I'm going to hit Approve. This is popping up a notification from MetaMask. I'm going to confirm it. Next, we just want to hit Send, to, uh, to uh, which will make the deposit for burn call we mentioned earlier. So that, that should also pop up a, 
a MetaMask notification. You see we're calling deposit for burn here. So I'm gonna confirm that. Great, uh, so now we wait for the burn to take place on Avalanche uh, and to fetch the attestation using Circle's API. Um, so this is just kind of a screen saying that that's going on in the background. Um, so we're gonna wait for this to, uh, wait, wait for the burn and mint to happen. Great, so now we have a notification uh, popping up, confirming that we wanna receive uh, USDC on, at the address uh, that we specified uh, on the destination chain of Ethereum. Um, so first we want to switch to this, to the Girly network as we were on the Avalanche test network uh, and click the receive button. So this is uh, asking us to confirm the transaction uh, to receive uh, USDC on Girly ETH. We're gonna confirm. Wait for the transfer to complete. And as you can see, our transfer is completed. So if we take a look at our MetaMask account now um, on Ethereum, we look at assets. We now have one more USDC than we did here on Ethereum. If we go back to our Avalanche, we'll have one fewer USDC. That's, that's, that's the demo. Um, going back to the presentation, the last thing I wanted to talk about is just our developer docs. Um, we have some developer documentation at uh, developers.circle.com. Uh, this can really outline uh, it, you know, how the cross-chain transfer protocol works um, and also how you can use it in an example application. So that's the presentation. Thanks so much. Yeah.